All right, so welcome back to the 74 TR6. So it's back. Uh, it's finally come back from the body shop. Uh, it's had some bits and pieces done. Yes, there is clean film all over it. I put that on it because I'm gonna be leaning over it. Uh, and I did do one or two things since I came back just to touch up that I needed to do before I left. So I put the clean film over. So if I do need to lean over for whatever reason, I'm not gonna mark any of the paint. So uh, it's pretty much as we left it. Let me show you those floors. So, so there's a great job done on the floors here. Uh, so both new floors and the new uh, kick plates were put in on both sides. Uh, and then the floor was put down. Yes, the dashboard is here because it just happened to be shown somebody and you had to be here. Um, I did take the transmission out since I come back because um, I found out that the, looking enough that the shaft uh, needed to be replaced. So I've had to replace the whole shaft and the fork and also there's a lot of tension on the main uh, on the drive shaft or the prop shaft whatever you want to call it so in the end I end up uh, actually pulling the engine forward a slight bit and that took the tension off here so I actually moved the entire engine and gearbox forward um, other than that yeah great job floor is done everything's nice and neat so you've got some work done on here so obviously you got some new uh, plates kick plates put in because they were part they were rotted on the, with the floor as well so on both sides and other than that it's had some strengthening done for the differential so it was a body off uh they strengthened up the differential mounts because it's a great time to do it while it's off and that's it so now it's a little, uh, little dusty um i said it's gotten a nice paint job so i just rearranged stuff as well it's had to settle down so i had to let it set down again before i end up redoing the doors and adjusting them because it has to settle down but for now, it's uh, back to putting the stuff on that I took off. So start over again. So I'm going back on with the headlights again. Uh, I'm going to start putting the washer wiper back on again. And I'm going to start putting the uh, foot pedals back on with the brake master and the clutch and so on. And yeah, so they're pretty basic things to throw on. And then once I get all them done, I'll probably end up putting the wiring harness again through. Because uh, I've just gotten that in. Uh, but now's a good time if you're ever at this stage yourself now's the best time to do anything if you want to do it with the heater uh, if you want to take it out and change the core or change the, um, the tubing in here i'll probably end up putting new tubing in here just because it's at this stage i might as well do it it's the, when you buy the kit you get the whole lot anyway and at this point there's no harm no fill and then from there we'll move on to like the fuel tank the um steering column as you can see right here where my finger is i've redone that i've stripped that apart and put new the two new bushings in it so that's nice tight steering so it's not loose uh, there are really are awkward bushing to change and my god it's uh it's quite a challenge to change them too um so yeah so uh let's roll on some high speed as i start reassembling some parts back on the car so let's get on with it Okay, so uh, plugging away here, and what we're going to do is uh, we're putting an oil cooler kit in this car. So it's a little small radiator that sits in front of your normal radiator, and your two hoses come here and go around to your 
oil, uh, your oil filter. Now, for most, these, actually, believe it or not, they're all pre-drilled for these, funny enough. Um, the only difference is from late 74, so 74 and a half to 76, uh, where the lights are under the bumper, not on top, they have a little bracket here, because your uh, license plate holder at the front has two bars that slide underneath and join on down here. Well, in order to get this on, we have to remove that. So you won't have them two bars at the bottom, you'll only have the two bolts at the front holding on the license plate holder. Um, could you make your own? Yeah, you could, um, but it's a choice. But in order to get this on, we have to now delete these. Uh, let me show you. So if you haven't seen it, So these here, and these will unbolt from the bottom. And there's the two brackets you come off, but that's where your license plate holder sits on. The bars go through. As you can see, obviously over some stage, this has been banged um, because of pressure on it. So you lose these two bars. Uh, but to be honest, it's a lot of strength just for a license plate holder. So I'm gonna take these out, and you should see four little holes here that are already pre-drilled. Actually, there they are there. You might need to push them all the way through. The early ones you shouldn't do, they should be going right through, but these I might have to drill all the way through, through and they line up with the holes on the actual, they line up with these holes here on the bottom of the red, on this red. All right, so uh, let's get putting it in. So, um, where have I got the sofa? I've got the wiring harness in, so that's going across here. I have it coming all the way down. I never removed it from the rear, so it was already in there anyway. So the wiring is there. Uh, what have I done? So I've pulled it around to the front, I've pulled it through. 
I fit the washer bottle. Uh, as you can see, here's the uh, polyurethane bushings for this uh, accelerator shaft pedal, uh, whatever you want to call it. Uh, again, they're available here at Plan Six Parts. So uh, drop us a message if you're looking for them. Uh, we have a new uh, alternator to go on. Uh, oh, sorry, starter motor. So we've nice starter motor to go in. Oh, let me zoom out. So. This uh, high torque starter motor is going to go on to replace the original. Uh, what have I done so far? That's really it. Put the small rad in. Uh, so now what I'm going to do is, because it's getting late in the afternoon, is I want to put the pedals in. Oh, it was so much easier actually. I realized it was so much easier to get the wiring in with no pedals in there. Uh, because now with all the wiring hidden in behind, I can push it up. I don't have to run on in and out and behind. Uh, yeah, all the wires are dangling where they need to. So what I'm moving on to now is the kick plates. Oh, the side sill kick plates, a few different names you can call them. So these are the ones that I'm installing. Uh, you have the Triumph uh, Laurel on it and the text. Uh, again, these are available from Planet 6 Parts. So if you uh, go to planet6parts.com and go into the uh, store, uh, you can uh, purchase these. There is different ones available. There's a flat plane one, there's this style, and there's one more that has a different laurel and I think that's it. But I find these the nicest because you have the black down it as well. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna line up, drill some holes and rivet it in. So uh, let's put some nice shiny stuff. Oh, look at that flag shining off. Look at that. Look at that other flag. Although the reflection is just backwards, it's the Ivory Coast. <laughs> okay, so let's go install some of these. Up.
Okay, so uh, made some progress here. So the support bar is in, of the radiator in, the electric fan is in, obviously it has to be wired up. I have the oil cooler fan in, I've put the canister in for the charcoal. Uh, I've put the horns on and of course, yeah, you can see I left myself difficult because the wire is on the inside. And in an ideal world, if I just happened to turn these horns the opposite, the opposite side around, I would have been on the far side and would have made life uh, a lot easier. But well, anyway, it's in. Uh, so what's next on the list? Well, I need to get the uh, steering column in. Uh, I know I've left myself a bit of work doing that because I need to try to get down in here to get it on. It's not the worst because it rotates. It's going to be a little tight, but yeah, it is what it is. I win in one way and lose another way only because we're not here allowed me to tighten up things a little better and what I can do now is, beside the wiring, is I'm now going to change the uh, fuel filter. I'll put a bigger one in there, a little better. I'll change that line, tidy it up a bit and then it gives me room to put the rest of the stuff on the engine without that getting in the way because it really does get in the way. And hopefully when that's all done, I then I'll actually send the steering column through and then I'm going to go into the inside and then I can actually move on in there. I still have to put the, put the foot plate on. Uh, I just touched it up with a bit of paint, so I'm just waiting for it to dry. I can put it in there, and I'm going to put the master in, and the servo, and all that jazz, and so on. Uh, once I get that in, then I can run the wires back up, because then it's not in the way again. So, well, so I have to put the uh, high torque uh, high torque starter in. So, again, some of the stuff is not easy to put in. But now that's in and out of the way, then I can actually move on to putting like the manifold on. Uh, and then so on and connect the exhaust back up and yeah piece by piece it's hard to know where to go sometimes you realize you put some stuff in and then you realize that it just gets in the way and you have to take it back out do something and put it back in again so and i'm terrible for doing that because i just get ahead of myself anyway all looking good so far looking nice and clean in here uh it is going to be pretty damn nice when it's done um a few surprises to come but again that won't be until the final car is done so I'll keep them off. Uh, but yeah, like I said the inside is starting to shape up a bit. All the wiring is in. I won't put the transmission cover on, uh, the gearbox cover, until I have all the bits and pieces I need done. Because like I said I still have to change some tubing and uh, run some tube across with the washer wipers and all that. I need to get all that done. Then I'll put that on. And yeah, once I get that in, then I'll worry about the inside afterwards. Uh, that can stay like that because again, I don't want to ruin any carpet. Anyway, uh, that's how she's looking so far. Uh, I've got my camera stand out of the way. Um, obviously I had it jacked up in a while and I had my nice little uh, cloth around the handle just in case it happened to knock up and hit the body. I didn't want to scratch any paint. Um, yeah, that's it. It is. You put some shiny stuff, shiny stuff in and it starts to take shape. So slowly getting there. I just hope everything goes in right and I don't have to refall that back out again. Um, Alright, so that's it for this part. So uh, join me on the next part and I'll continue putting some stuff in and I'll hopefully have all the stuff dry and I can start in this area here and then hopefully get most of the engine bay stuff out of the way and then start on the interior uh, i.e the rest of the steering uh the windscreen has to go on the frame but i have to actually put leather in the inside and then a new window has to go on yeah there's so much to do it's not even funny i think i need the doors yeah they're empty so <laughs> all right um thanks for watching again any comments questions concerns or anything along Give me a show, ask me a question, I'll try to help you out as best I can. If I don't if I can't help you, I'll pass you on to some new nose of duels. Uh, and of course, subscribe to the channel. Uh, it means a lot to me when I see more people subscribe. I'm almost at the thousand mark. I've a hundred to go at this point. So I'm hoping to get a last little push to get to that thousand mark. That's like a landmark for me. So um yeah, I'd really appreciate hitting the subscribe button because again that makes me feel uh, much appreciated in the work I do and uh, people are uh, constantly tuning in to see if I can do something that's gonna help them with their own uh, drone car. So, right now she's sitting here, she's sitting beside a beautiful MGA, uh, who came in for a little engine work as well. So, that might be here for a while, so it has a nice, uh, interesting partner. So, two beautiful cars sitting here. Uh, Alright, see you in the next, uh, next part. Thanks for watching again.